Welcome to the Digital Earth Africa Sandbox. In this video, you'll be learning about the Wetlands Insight tool. To open the tool, go to the Real World Examples folder and select the Wetlands Insight tool notebook. This notebook contains valuable information such as how the tool relates to the sustainable development goals, as well as the data and method that's used. To start the tool, scroll down until you find the cell containing the WIT app. Select the cell and press the Run button to start the app. Once the app is loaded, you will be able to see a series of selections, as well as a map to identify a water body of interest. Use the map to zoom into a wetland you want to analyze. Once you've identified it, use the map overlay to get some additional context. You can use Esri World imagery or the Sentinel-2 Geomedian to get some visual information. Alternatively, you can also use the Water Observations from Space product. This shows areas that were frequently classified as water in dark and areas that were only sometimes classified as water in lighter shades. This can help distinguishing wetlands from persistent lakes. Once you have chosen a map overlay to help guide your drawing, you can choose the Polygon tool or the Rectangle tool to map out your area to analyze. Once you've selected an area, you'll be able to see the total area you've selected, as well as whether that area falls within the recommended limit. You can now use the tool to specify the other parameters. For the start date, we're going to choose the 1st of June in 2019, and also analyze until that date uh, in 2021. With this, you can either use the calendar or type the date. We'll leave these two parameters as they are, um, as they're sensible defaults. The tool outputs both a CSV containing the data as well as a plot. You can customize the name of these uh, if you want to save different analyses out. Once you are happy with your selections, you can press the run button to start the tool. You will know the tool is started by the status on the right hand side. The tool goes through a number of steps to classify the wetland. For any given pixel, it will assess whether it's cloudy or non-cloudy, in which case it will be mapped to no data, whether it's classified as open water through the water observations from space product. Um, if it has a particular value for the tassel cap wetness, it will be classified as wet. And if none of those apply, the product will load, the process will load fractional cover, in which case it will be able to classify how much of the pixel is green vegetation, dry vegetation, and bare soil. Based on these classifications, the tool will then compute the proportional area uh, for each class. The tool may take some time to load, but you will be able to see the progress appear on the right hand side. So far, the tool has loaded the Landsat data, computed the wetness, and is now working on computing the green vegetation, dry vegetation, and bare soil from fractional cover. The final step is to compute the open water, and then you will see that the tool is complete. Once the tool is finished, you can scroll down to see the output plot. In this case, you can see the clear seasonal variation of this wetland where it transitions from predominantly open water to predominantly dry vegetation and bare soil. After running the process, you'll be able to download the outputs by right-clicking and pressing the download button. These will download directly to your file system. We hope you find this tool valuable for analyzing wetlands in Africa.